and that more than they, they need you right and they figure there's so many applicants coming to the retail store go, uh, coming to the fast food restaurants looking for jobs they got tons and tons of applicants and they can choose anybody whatever they want whatever okay? they want now take that back to affirmative action and see how that works for the corporation. Yeah, but the job market hurts everyone, regardless. Oh, oh, well, yeah, yeah. oh I, I, I know what you're saying. I, in other words, with affirmative action, it gives them an excuse to under to to hire the women and the minority and pay them. It gives them less, excuse, right? Yes, but it gives them the excuse to hire the top quality for less money. For less money, okay. and that includes this. Is that some sort of reverse discrimination? Well, they're 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 actually discriminating against the against the entire uh, unemployed uh, United States mainstream masses. They're 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 exploiting. The masses. Ah, bingo! Now, what about this new thing that's popular today with importing H-1B visa workers, yeah. immigrants? It's like reverse outsourcing. You outsource to get cheap labor because you're greedy. But now they're outsourcing and insourcing, importing the H-1B workers, and that's why the Republicans will not get a good immigration bill going because they don't want to lose that ability for their corporation buddy boys. Correct, okay. absolutely, and uh, this is the problem we have. Um, so uh, it's all about, human nature is, hasn't changed, it's, it's disgusting, it's vile, it's wicked, it's sinful, it hasn't changed, I mean, and, and we have it today. Uh, I told Esmeralda Glutz that uh, what retail needs, what they badly need is the first nationwide retail union we need unions but back busting unions. we need unions back stronger than ever ever unions are getting busted only because they're allowing themselves to get busted but no, if you because they don't have the power anymore well how do you stop a union if they want to form a union the right to work laws that are all over the south that's how you stop them or you defund them you defund them like they try to do. If you don't join a union and pay your dues, they still want you to have all the benefits of being in the union. It's almost the same thing as what they did in 2006. Yeah, but they were 2006, the Republicans yeah. with the post office. Oh, yeah. Making them fund their pension plans, you know, Decades in advance. Did you know? Did you know that? To the tune of six did, billion dollars a year, did, or whatever. Did it is. you know that a friend of mine who worked at the Meadowlands Hub in Secaucus, New Jersey, for UPS, saw United States postal packages in the UPS trucks being unloaded and being and being delivered, being loaded. The post office delivers them. The UPS. If the, the UPS doesn't go, doesn't have a route in a particular place. The United States Post Office delivers that package. But well, what I'm saying is, did you, you think, ever see? Are they trying to privatize? Yes, they will. That the, is their the ultimate post, the goal. The postal service. That's their, that's their ultimate goal. Right. Did you ever go down? I'm sure you went down to the Lodi Post Office. Yes. You see that uh, that one big thing that's in front of the post office? It's red and white, I believe. It says FedEx on it. I have to double check, but there used to be three of the ones local, out of state, out of the, you know town or something. But those belong to the post office. But the one over so here belongs to the FedEx. So they're trying. They they are working with private industry, UPS. No, because private industry will not go there. It's not profitable. It's the same thing happened at the Tennessee Valley Authority way back when. No private industry would go over there and give electricity to the South in that area. The government had to do it. Okay? Okay. All right. Um, 
so um, yeah so this is where we're at uh, you know uh, let, let us uh, sink our teeth uh, into these readings and uh, <coughs> until we until we hear some consumer information uh, that's pretty much it for the Chisler's Hall of Shame. Um, okay. Last October, speaking of Microsoft, Microsoft released Windows 8. Oh, God. With a radically new touch-friendly interface. Yeah, and you have to pay for everything compared to Linux. An app store and other iPad era trimmings. And no iconic start button. Oh, no start button? No. Well, how do you get to your accessories? You can, make, you can make one, though, I believe. But how do you get to your programs? You don't have to. There's 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 tiles of them on the the first screen. You're talking you about them you're talking you about the touch the touch, touch screen system. Yes. It was a whole a bold reimagining of the world's dominant PC operating system. Maybe too bold. In the wake of its release, PC sales plunged by a record-setting 14%. So everybody who's used to a keyboard and a mouse got all like bent out of shape and and discombobulated. go for the, the Windows 8. Discombobulated. I know why they created that for the tablets, because the tablets will replace the laptops. I think well, so. Well, the tablets may replace the laptops, but they're never going to dis the, the displace the desktops. No, you got to have... Okay. No, some people need the desktop. Yeah. You know, you can't fit... Point all, and click, you know? Yeah, you can't fit uh, all, all the uh, the components needed by uh, uh, high graphic gamers, right? Yeah. Yeah, you, or, and, and et cetera, et cetera. You can't fit all the, these components into a, into a tablet. In the first quarter of this year, according to research firm IDC, yeah. the fall is not all Windows 8 fault. Oh. The industry was already sagging as consumers switched their spending to gadgets come lately like tablets and smartphones. What about Apple? People are going for the uh, the iPhones. And like, yeah, the, the, uh, my sister has an Apple uh, tablet. Mm. She has an Apple tablet and she loves it. Still, PC users might welcome a Windows upgrade that doesn't ask them to unlearn quite so high a percentage of what they already know. They'll get one when Microsoft releases Windows 8.1. <laughs> Let me guess. Again! Let me guess. You have to pay for this? Of course. So every time they release... Oh, wait. Wait. There's a shit. free update. Wow. Free wow. and Microsoft in the same sentence? Amazing. Amazing. Yes. Absolutely amazing. That will debut at the company's build conference on June 26th. That's well, a few days from now. But the, the, isn't there a tutorial that comes with Windows 8? Uh, 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 no. A video tutorial uh, to, to acclimate these people you to know, touch them? You know, on Windows 7 they have what you call a user's guide and this, that, and the other thing. You know, I've tried and I've asked questions and I've looked up and things and nothing is applicable to what I want. So far, ever. It's just the facelift. It's only aesthetics that's changed. It's, uh, uh, I mean, I mean, even uh, our Mega Life 21 uh, director of IT says to me, uh, you're right. XP Pro was great, but it's it's uh, obsolete. Well, why is it's it archaic. obsolete? It could have had updates to it. It's not obsolete. It's not obsolete. In, if you have reality. something that works, yeah. let's just say for a minute you got a car. You built a car, or a good clock. Good clock, and everything works right with the clock. And it's God keeps great time. Clock king. Sales have dropped a little because maybe you figure you can make more sales if you change the face of the clock. Not everything that's new and improved is new and improved. Exactly, and not everything that's new and improved needs to be improved. You know, needs to be improved 
in those little features and stuff. Maybe something needs to be improved down there in the body. You know, like a Windows Vista and and seven and eight. Yeah. You know? You can't use the XP uh, body or whatever. And if you want to put a feature here, a feature there, fine. And we don't have to all learn this stuff all over again and all this crap all over. Yeah. It's like uh, uh -huh. it's like with the fitness industry. The uh, the all the principles of exercise haven't really changed. They just changed the names and the terminology. It's and they all the same the man. type of exercise. Well, it's, we got boxing. We got Shaolin. We got this bad one. We got that one. No, what I'm Your belly fat. No, no. Abs. What, what I'm saying is the the science of kinesiology and and how a person must safely go about exercising for whatever purpose they they're looking to do. All the all the the concepts, all the proven uh, concepts and and uh, theories that were proven that have been done decades and decades ago, back in the 1940s with Bob Hoffman and York, and, and you know, and uh, even before that, bodybuilding used by, back in the day when people didn't use steroids, all these um, systems are really the same, except they just change the words, change the terminology, to sell their DVD, because you have a guru who has an infomercial, who has a revolutionary DVD with a revolutionary new system and all they did all he did or she did was change the words the terminology to make money with sales hype now you got all this sales hype in the infomercial well, nothing has changed same thing applies to with the, these operating systems it's the old thing about new 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 you know yeah you can always get people to buy a thing if you, it's new, 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 new. P.T. Barnum, he said it best. Is a sucker born every minute. The new version isn't a wholesale rollback, rollback of Windows 8's many changes. Microsoft is still betting that folks will grow more comfortable with the new look over time. But the company has restored the start button. People complained? Too many people complained, right? It lets you boot up your PC directly into the old school Windows desktop rather than dumping you into the wholly unfamiliar start screen. And other new features such as a fancier search and photo editing tools aim to make the upgrade tempting rather than intimidating. Will Windows 8.1 help snap the PC market out of its slump? Ross Rubin, principal analyst at Retico Research, says the industry has often thrived when Microsoft produced upgrades such as Windows XP and Windows 7. No, I disagree. I hate Windows 7. Personally, it's a nightmare for him. Yeah. The other night, it took me one and a half hours to boot. Really? Yeah. That emphasized refinement and continuity over revolutionary advances. See? The history of Windows has been that those kinds of releases have been hailed. If consumers are more enthusiastic about Windows 8.1 than they've been for Windows 8, it'll be because 8.1 feels new, but not who knew? Interesting. Okay. I'm glad you started off uh, the show with a Windows article, a, a, a derogatory Windows bashing article, because I knew there was going to be um, another <coughs> excuse uh, to bring up uh, the uh, Chisler's Hall of Shame and to add Windows to it, like we do all the time, every week. Windows, Microsoft is automatically part of the uh, Chisler's Hall of Shame. Windows, you're greedy and blood-sucking, and uh, I highly promote and endorse 
until something better comes along. The 100% free Linux Mint as the ultimate free uh, replacement for uh, Microsoft. But you know, it's funny. All these um, devices that they sell at uh, in, in the computer industry, you know, in uh, retail stores, Best Buy, uh, online, uh, like the Logitech webcam, uh, uh, broadcasters, etc., etc., they they're they're only compatible with Windows. So Windows, so Microsoft has a a monopoly. Lock. They have a lock on the industry, a monopoly. Yeah. Why? How come so little is compat compatible with Apple and Linux? Because Microsoft, in the very beginning. They, they discovered the way uh, to put me. their operating system on almost every computer that was manufactured. So by default, you get stuck with a Windows operating system. Correct. With that stupid little jingle uh, music that goes on when you boot up. And for people who already don't know much about operating systems and etc., you're not going to get these people to go out and get in. Because they wouldn't know what you're talking about. Because why? All they see on on primetime TV is is Windows, Windows this, Windows that. They show people everyday life, family members. It's like it's almost like a love affair with Windows. In reality, it's very problematic. It's loaded with glitches, and, and it's, it's a monopoly. and it's expensive. And they're and they're crooks. Every time they come out with something, they want you to spend money, more money, more money. Right. You know, Bob. I, think I told you the, the, the uh, I have twenty. I have Microsoft Office 2010 on my Windows 7. And there's no Excel. That's for free. And there's no Excel. And there's no. There's uh, no Excel. And there's no any other crap um, like PowerPoint. PowerPoint. And, uh, um, uh, 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 that other thing. And there's ads on it. Oh, really? That you cannot just delete. Obnoxious, pushy. Sales ads on a Microsoft and it also program, lacks features. Windows program that you would get with the full program. So, so I thought by default you get the Excel that came with the Office. I thought it was a package. Now I have, but not anymore. You see how greedy they are? Well, here's an example. I have Microsoft Window, Microsoft Office uh, 2003. I got everything on it. Yeah, me too. I got Outlook, I got Excel, I got PowerPoint, I got this, that, the other thing, I got Office, it's, I got everything. Yeah, what's the one, the database, it's called, um... Uh, the database is, uh... Um, yeah, yeah, there's a, uh, you, you... It, it might be, uh, part of the Windows. Yeah, I know what you mean, I know what you mean. Well, anyway, you got the package. I got the package. You got the package with 2003, but now... You, you get ads shoved in front of your face and you don't have a package anymore. So now if you want Excel, they want you to spend... Now you got a half a program. Right. <laughs> Probably like a few hundred bucks each, you know what I mean, per edition. Shame on you. You are a greedy, miserable company just like all these American companies. And it is one more reason to despise the uh, douchebag-looking Bill Gates. You know. Now, a gentleman on my Facebook group <coughs> The uh, International Brotherhood of Polyvons, uh, uh, Mr. Um, Mr. Jack Stanton, who is a teabagger. Oh, jeez. He says that uh, we are we are not very nice on our show. We are we go we go way overboard uh, with our attitudes and 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 you know bashing the way we bash. Uh, conservatives and uh, the style and the mannerism, you know, that we're too crude, we're coarse, we're just... I think most of the time we're, we're very nice and but we just simply tell the truth. You know, we don't, we don't, we're not screaming every time on every show, we don't curse constantly, but we tell the truth. So I guess, I guess teabaggers are not in favor of a direct uh, free, independent thinkers with open minds, you know, people that tell the truth and are straight. But shoot, supposedly it's supposed shoot from to be the hip. in favor of uh, good government. Uh, so, I believe that uh, if, 
if you say anything against the fascist government we have, they don't like us. Oh no, they don't they like they don't, why. they don't believe in freedom of speech. Fascism ain't in good government. But isn't it funny isn't it funny how tea baggers who are not elitists, who are not the top twenty percent, they're not financially independent. It's funny how they got suckered into believing all this. How they got suckered into pitying the billionaires. And believing the conservative propaganda and the lies. And that made them vote for the Republican Congress that we have now. Well, we have a two-party system, okay? That's what we have. And, this and the one party, the Democratic Party, are demons. Baby killers. Well, today... Uh, They're atheists. So why would any so-called Christian vote right. for them? Well, that is... So that leaves them only the Republicans. That is part of the false, lying propaganda, the conservative propaganda that brainwashed the population, all these people living out in the, the Bible Belt and the red states, you know, that belong to this religious cult that, that, that they belong to. That's how they got suckered into believing the lies, and therefore they, they voted for Republicans that have absolutely do not have their best interests at heart because Bingo. because they're they're just working stiffs or un unemployed stiffs just like any other average American. They live uh, paycheck to paycheck, or fixed income check to you know. Yeah. But they pity the month to month. Yeah, but they pity the, the millionaires and the billionaires. Yeah. And they, and they believe the bullshit about job killing. When you tax the rich, you're you're killing jobs. Well, you know, it's small business of 500 employees or less. That creates 60 to 64 percent of all the jobs in America. See that? So where are the jobs created by these wealthy who you dare not tax? No, they're they're outsourced in the Philippines, where those poor people are getting a dollar an hour to work in an office. The inbound call centers, China, 32 cents an hour at Foxconn, and so on and so forth. <coughs> uh, not to mention all the. Uh, the toxic tainted food that they, they bring into this country from China. Then you have Bangladesh where the people are almost slaves with no safety regulations in the factories at all. I just saw the other day a news report on Shepard Smith on Fox News in the afternoon about three o'clock. Chips, the cereals, the sodas, they have, I forget the chemical or whatever, bromine, bromide something is in there and it's dangerous to you, etc, etc, etc. But it's there. Thank you, FDA, for oh, being so yeah. in favor of the big boys. FDA, US... They don't regulate. Don't believe that the FDA and the, and the USDA has your best interests and your safety at heart. They don't. They're, they're in cahoots with the uh, food companies and Drug big com drug food companies. Big food companies. Not the farmer. Not the farmer. Correct. Big food companies. Big pharma. You know the drug companies. Uh, people like Monsanto. I mean corporations like Monsanto. They're in cahoots with them. Do not trust the label that says USDA certified organic. Oh, baby. Do not trust it. But we're going to take a break, and uh, because it is time for. Uh, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman's gastronomic delight known as a lunch. And we will be back with our commercial voiceover specialist, William H. Morrow III. All right.